I didn't know it was a captain. How curious. I'd wager the explanation for that is fascinating indeed. Hey, you are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention that the three of us are students of the Officers' Academy at Garrig Mach Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because you ran off. Too true. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of them, every single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. Damn, girl. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, joy. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me, are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, forgive our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare oh. a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's Slow leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Your skill is precisely why I must ask you to consider lending your services to the Empire. Oh, what? I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. Please, allow me to finish my own proposition. Girl, the shut Holy up! I'm King not done! Fargus is in dire need of exceptional <laughs> individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the Kingdom with me. Whoa, there! You two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well... Wait, seriously? I don't even know what colors these are! Is it- is it... Red chick, blue dude, yellow dude? Um, oh, this isn't the choice. Okay. Okay. I- Okay, so we've got, like, red waifu, blue hero, and yellow thief. Hmm. I have no idea which one I want to go. I'm just going to be awesome. Is that right? Well, that's a win for the Alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. All right, that's enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. I like how... It's almost split perfectly. My half of chat says, yes! And the other half of chat says, ruined! Each of the three is most unique. <laughs> I'm, I feel like everyone's going to pick the red waifu. So I feel, I feel like that's like nine, like 99% of streamers, of course, are going to pick the red waifu. So I figured I wanted to pick somebody that I thought most people wouldn't pick. His easy smile is striking, but that smile doesn't reach his eyes. She's a refined young woman, but I feel as though she's always evaluating me. It seems quite sincere, but I sense darkness lurking beneath? Oh my. Yes, I thought the same. <sighs> I am so sleepy once again. <sighs> I may be sleeping. Maybe we'll go blue. Maybe we'll do blue. Hmm. I don't know which one we'll actually pick. We'll think about it. I think it's going to be between yellow and blue. Probably blue. Probably blue. Now that I know that he's got some darkness underneath, I'm all about the darkness. I love darkness. So if he's going to be all dark and stuff underneath, then Part I kind of want to see what that dark is. White yeah. clouds. 
Great Tree Moon. Three houses. That's a lot of words together. The icy winds of the Agma Mountains have begun to scatter, and the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodlan, heralding the start of a new year. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. The continent of Fodlan, oh, said go. to be Lord. protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the Whoa, land. Oh, there's a lot of names I know in there. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the holy kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. That's probably going to be us. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Oh, it's Merica! Once consumed oh, that makes sense by a now. tempest that makes sense. of war and okay. turmoil, Fodlan and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Dude, for some reason last night, all of my BTTV emotes broke. Now I know what it looks, what, it, what it's like to be on mobile. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. Oh, there's an FFC server down. Oh, okay. Okay. Coming up on my house here. There it is. Garrick Mock Monastery. This is where I live. In North Carolina. Nice place. Got some horses out back. It's beautiful. woman is teaching a room full of teenagers in that dress. Come on! What do you think those kids are paying attention to? Ray is here. It ain't the teachings. Is that the girl from the intro? Maybe. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? I don't know, is her name so this? Because yes, then? <laughs> it's been years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh... Her? You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlan are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Gerald. My name is Setith. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. How does it feel not to have to read everything? Really, really good. It is a huge plus to me that this is fully voice acted. It has been a long time, mm. Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place. Oh, I am his kid. I wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child, but I'm afraid oh. we lost her to illness. Whoops. I see. My condolences. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is... A fine name indeed. 
From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. My pleasure, girl. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now, but I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. Hmm, okay, okay. <sighs> I can't believe it. Force back into the Knights of Seros. I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. I must work here? Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking about the Officer's Academy, right? Well, the Academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damn Oh, is this Alois how they're going to do the tutorial? recommended you to Lady Rhea. This is actually cool. So, okay. you must be the new professor. Oh, it's you. My, how stern and handsome you are. I enjoy your dress. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. You can handle things from here. Good luck. And watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Stay on your guard. Oh, it's you then? So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated. As you well know, I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. Okay. I'm Manuela. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. You're a songstress? Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middlefranc Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, wow. it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students, each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Okay. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. It certainly is a promising year for the Academy. I'll say. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Oh, it's cool. I have great experience with uh, people being trapped in schools. Hmm, quite. For now, I suggest taking a stroll around the Academy to mm. get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. The old man has a point. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. I'm sure Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. One thing I'm also noticing so far is the voice acting is actually really good. I'm kind of, I'm kind of just enjoying listening to this stuff. Have it's you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? 
appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is- I thought since everything was voice acted that we were gonna get like a lot of, you know, below average filler, but it's going well so far. I have made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood after all. When's the next trial? Give me about uh, 30 minutes to an hour, and then we'll get to our first murder. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mach. Ooh, some internal strife. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Okay. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Have I recognized any voices? Yes, I have recognized some voices so far. The the time chick is Morgana, and I've recognized a few more, but I can't place them, which is par for the course for me. Yeah. It's like when you when you know you know an actor, but you don't know their name. That's the kind of feeling I have with a couple of the other voices. Yep, I heard uh, uh, Geralt is in Monster Hunter World. Uh, Claude is Hoshino from uh judgment um the time chick is morgana uh we also have coffee dad in here somewhere uh and there's a couple other big names in here too yeah some of the anime scenes are like in 60 fps and some of them are in like 10. Twenty-four FPS standard? Ah, maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's that CGI stuff. Yeah, probably. Probably. AZW turns. By the way, full disclosure: this game is. I'm super focused mode on this game. Not only am I learning the lore and story, but I've never played Fire Emblem, so I'm trying hard to pay attention to the nuance and stuff. I very much appreciate you guys putting up with my focus mode today. Thank you. Uh, thanks for being here. <laughs> Normally, I'm a little bit more interactive with chat, but yeah, kind of, kind of tunneled in right now. So many characters, dude. Arif87, thanks for that 16 months. Actually, good time to do this. Yo Yo Mama, the two years. Shun2 with the two years. Lithius with the one year. And Cruise NG, welcome back to our sub community, my dude. Thank you. What's up, girl? Mm. Mm hmm. Of course. Is Ram says, oh my god, he's hot. Well, thank you, I took a shower this morning. Uh, while exploring the monastery, the R stick moves the camera, the buttons go in and out, B and Y to dash. If you are ever unsure what to do next, look to the left side of the screen. Oh! Wait, what? You there? Oh, I thought it was just all fighting. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Well, frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Okay. Now, see, somebody told me there was fishing in this game, but I'm 90% sure they were just messing with me. But now that I can run around, I'm not so sure anymore. Is there actually fishing in this game? There is fishing in this game? Oh, mother of God. Um. Oh, Lord. Okay, well. Of course. 
I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy. This is trouble. Correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? Sure. Quests are tasks given to you by the people around the monastery. Those who can give or are involved with the quest will have icons by them. Consult the quest menu to see the quest you've accepted. Great. Is there like loot and treasure chests and stuff to find around here as well? Like, are there, is there good reasons to explore? Yes? Oh my God. The mini map in the upper right corner of the map shows your current location and the locations of important people, the directions to quest givers and more. Zoom to change the map to see that. Oh my god. Okay. Um Let's start tiny. That's so. Okay. There's there's one thing I'm kind of worried about here though. I'm seeing a whole lot of exposition but I'm not really sold on the story yet. Okay. so like all this exposition could be amazing unless the main story is like super bland and not very interesting in which case maybe not so this is okay. going to be interesting oh yes. can I pet the cat 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 nobody's so cute look at him oh I want to give him a little pet Up, girl. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly three. introduced myself, Give a little smooch. I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbog. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Sure. Oh. Oh, so each of the three houses has like eight people? Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's Whoa. next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Dude, this is huge. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite okay. astute and reasonable. Do I want to do this for each of the three houses to get to know everyone? Or do I only need to worry about the people in my house? The one that I'm going to choose. I do want to do this for everyone. Okay, so I, even though I'm not going to be in these other houses, it's still good to learn these people. Okay, great, great, great. In that case, we'll do it. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge It's all this great voice acting anyway. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime Oh, you can recruit people from other houses. That family is oh. perhaps too pleased with its own status. Oh, okay. Man, I'm loving these abilities in the top right. There's going to be so much customization on our team. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. Should we make team waifu? Maybe. If he had Maybe. any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. He's the second son of Count Burglies. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. He's got like 
the opposite of a of a middle part. Like his hair like crashes into each other in the middle. <laughs> That's so weird. It doesn't happen. Okay. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but oh. don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Okay. I burn a debt. You might be a gamer. Oh. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. Oh, she's a songstress. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officer's Academy. That seems like a really strong ability in the top right there. Like, damn. Huh. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Brigid. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Oh, she has like a killer's eye kind of ability. That's cool. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Cool. You got a pretty solid team, girl. I like you. All right, great. Wait, do I have something else to do with her? So you've accepted. I, I am the pro wonder. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about right any of Okay. So I, th I think I'm done with her. Okay. You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. Hi, gatekeeper. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah, uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. You, you, you deserve a name, buddy. You're trying to make people yes. smile. I feel bad for him. At least he at least deserves, like, Gatekeeper John or something. Like, my lord. What do you think? Ooh. Oh, these are all the different houses. Okay. Uh, let's just do kind of, like, clockwise from here. The Golden Deer House is for students of the Lester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles Although as well. Although I'm ready to fight again. I want to keep fighting. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, like, so ready to get back into combat. Oh, man. Good lore, though. Good lore. Ugh. Ah, you must be the renowned mercenary who rescued Claude. Honestly, you should not have troubled yourself over the likes of him. Rude! My name is Lawrence Hellman Gloucester. You will want to remember it. Okay. Sorry, what was... You know what? Not important. So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And they cut your head with a pot. And I am Lysithia Von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Mm. Okay. What do you think? Hey, are you that mercenary? Everyone's been talking about you. Yes. Yeah. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... M Marianne Van Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Same. What? Uh, oh, I really like how, like, the, um, the dialogue will show you if you've talked to them already. It's super handy. I like that a lot. Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. Bro, you need a bigger shirt, my man. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Awkward. Nice to meet you. I'm Raphael Kirsten. Who this are you the, again? This is the male version of Akane's shirt. Right there. He's trying to wear Akane's shirt. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. 
Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Yeah, let's let's meet them. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck Whoa, would have it, he gets more I'm curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's Ooh. just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little.